Hey guys, Caleb Thornton here back with another video and today we're going to be taking a look at the eSports Tiger Neon mouse pad, which does come with a really nice silky smooth controlled surface as well as one of the more unique mouse pad designs with some vibrant pinks and purples, which is pretty polarizing so you might like it, you might not, but it is definitely something um, fresh and unique from like the very generic black mouse pads I feel like we see a lot. You can pick it up in three different sizes. They have a medium, a large, and then the extra large, which extra large is the one I have right in front of me here. It's their desk pad size, the pretty generic 900 by 400 millimeters, which is a good size for me personally. I, I'm a low sense player, so I move my arm a lot. I did find myself reaching the edge of it a lot, but as long as I move it over, there is definitely enough room. It's gonna be definitely more than enough for most of you guys out there. They are all four millimeters thick, no matter what size you choose. So, and they are pretty decently spongy. So if you're someone who likes to push down the pad as well, to even get more control, you can definitely do that with it. Um, looking at the bottom as well, really nice rubber base, definitely had no issues with it sliding around on my desk, um, stayed in place very well. And the biggest issue I've had, which is definitely a stinker because it's a minute detail on the mouse pad, it's the stitching itself. I mean, besides the stitching, like the mouse pad itself, really well put together. The stitching is definitely a deal breaker for me and it might be a deal breaker for you guys too. It's not the fact that it feels bad out of the box. I mean, it's definitely soft and it didn't give me any issues. It was after four to five days of playing, um, I'll get some close-up shots on this where I move my arm, the mouse pad, it's just loose enough to where it starts to pick up some of that loose fabric, starts to ball up on top and it creates a rough surface for my arm to slide across and it just was not comfortable and I'm not someone that's the most sensitive to like a rough surface on my arm, but this actually did bother me, especially when you're going you know, from like a smooth stitching then rolling over into where it's all beaded up on top and that loose fabric is bunched up. So this is only, you know, four to five days of use on this one side. Then after that, I was like, man, maybe it's just, you know, the stitching on this side, maybe it's just more loose. So I flipped it around and I started using it on this side now and you can already see it's already fraying up again in that same way the other side did. So it's definitely just the stitching on the mouse pad itself. Um, maybe it's because of the way I play on a low sensitivity I'm swiping my arm a lot. Maybe it won't be an issue for you guys, but uh, maybe it's just my copy, but I'm not sure. But still, when you pull the mouse pad of the box and you have this happening like four to five days down the road, you can imagine, you know, a couple months, the stitching is gonna be all over the place and probably coming right out of the pad itself. So that's definitely the biggest issue with the pad. And for me personally, if I had to use just one mouse pad and I picked this up, I would be very disappointed. Luckily, I do have other mouse pads I can use, but still just having this happen is, a big no-go, especially when you pay a decent amount of money for a mouse pad. You definitely don't want this happening four to five days after you pick it up. So that's definitely the biggest issue overall and definitely kind of ruins the overall pad itself. Moving on to the surface and the performance of it itself, this is coated. So yes, it's gonna wear down, you know, three, six months down the road or depending on how often you're actually using the surface itself. Um, the nice thing with the desk pad, of course, is you can flip it around and get like twice the amount of length of use out of it with that coated surface because of just the size of it itself. If you wanted to do that with the desk pad version. And I will say like one of the first things you notice when you pull the box is just how stinking smooth the surface is. It's definitely one of the softest and most silky like feeling surfaces I've tried on a mouse pad. And with that too, it translates right over to your mouse movement. Like having your mouse on this, it's just some of the most like smooth feeling glide I've had in it really created a really consistent aim for me in game. I definitely really enjoy the surface. It's advertises control and I would definitely say it's very much so a controlled surface. Um, really consistent, like um, accurate feeling X and Y. Um, I didn't really notice any discrepancies between them. Um, overall, if you're someone who enjoys control pads, you would definitely enjoy the surface. Again, the biggest issue was just the stitching. It kind of ruined the overall experience for me because I don't know, I'm getting this really nice glide, smooth, consistent, and then my arms like going over the super rough where it's beating up on the stitching, which just drove me crazy, um, but if it was just the surface and the stitching was not an issue, I would absolutely love it. Finally, touching on the pricing for this, um, for the desk pad version, like the one I have, it is $50, so definitely not a cheaper mouse pad. For the medium, it's 35, or <laughs> for the large, it's 35, the medium size of the sizing itself, and then the smallest one being the medium is $25. And um, overall, like if it was just a great mouse pad as far as stitching goes as well. I would say definitely a recommendation for me, but with the stitching, I feel like you might be able to find better value somewhere else. Maybe uh, X-Ray pads, they have some great value with their pads or maybe Odin Gaming. They also have some great deals going on there. Um, if it wasn't for that stitching on here, I would 
probably use this pad a lot more because I absolutely love the surface and the feel of it. If you're someone who really loves control pads and you just want to try out this surface, I would maybe recommend just getting the smallest version for $25. Then you can kind of test out the surface, maybe see if the stitching won't be an issue for you. It is for me and it's definitely a deal breaker for me because I can't keep using it with it just getting worse and worse and being irritating on my skin. Um, but I mean, a very enjoyable mouse pad to use, just that stinker with the stitching not working out for me is a really big bummer. I would love to see them improve on that and I would definitely use this mouse pad a lot more if they did. So not really a recommendation for me, but if you just really want to try it out, just get the cheapest one and then you can see if the stitching will be an issue for you. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you did find it helpful or informative. And if you did, please hit that like button for me and do consider subscribing for more content just like this coming up in the very near future. If you have any questions about the pad or the surface and the performance of it, anything I didn't answer in the video, definitely let me know in the comments below and I'll try my best to get back to you with the best answer I can, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.